So let's take a look at Kirchhoff's second rule. And again, don't get too hung up on this. You know this already. The very first thing that we do when we look at a circuit is we go around the loops and we look at the pluses and minuses and we make some assumptions as to what we have going on. We just said a moment ago that this is more plus, this would be more minus. This would be more plus, this would be more minus. So I've put the same exact circuit and I hooked multimeters in. Let's look at point B right here. Kirchhoff's law states that the current coming into a circuit will always be positive. If the circuit coming in right here, look at this resistor. The current coming into resistor 2 is plus 2 because I see that the plus sign is right here. Plus 2 comes in. Minus 2 amps leave. So if I say the current coming into B, it is a plus. Current comes into B. Kirchhoff's current law simply states that the current coming into point B is a plus and anything leaves is a minus. So that means I have a minus two-thirds of an amperage there, and then I have one and a third amps coming out of R5. So if I add these up, two plus a negative two-thirds plus a negative one and one-third, I actually equal two amps and we're done. Kirchhoff's law just simply states that the current coming into the point is the same that's leaving those points. That's all we've got going on. So Kirchhoff's law of current says pluses are current coming in, negatives are what's leaving. If I were to go down to point C, I could say that I have a plus 1.33 amps, plus 0.666 amps, and I have a negative 2 amps leaving that if I were to come down to say this point right here. That's it. That's Kirchhoff's current law. There's nothing more and nothing less to that. When you troubleshoot a circuit, all I simply care to know, and what you need to know, is what's going on. Is what's coming in the same as what's going out? We size fuses. We rate our wires, the insulation of those wires, terminal blocks, to circuit panels, circuit breakers, I should say. We're always concerned with the net current of that circuit. That's what Kirchhoff's law is telling us. You knew that prior to this lesson. It's just now the implementation of that into a little more sophisticated of a circuit.